this is obviously an original Defender and it's done to look like the Heritage. So it's got the Heritage style grill, it's done in the Heritage paint. It's really nice. It's got the nice bumper on it, but check out the interior. So they've done a, a soft top and it's super nice. They've got this sort of tweed interior, tweed and brown leather. That's a really nice combo. They got the soft top on the back. Check that out inside. They got the, so you got six seats there. That's really nice with the fold up back seats, the rear canvas tilt. It's got all the wheels done. Look at the chassis. I don't think the camera will do justice for this car in person. It's just beautiful. It's just meant, isn't it? On a nice sunny day like the day, nothing better than cruising around in that. No. Nice job, whoever done that one. We're wandering around the car park. This isn't an exhibition vehicle. I'm having it. This is the Dynamic X Land Rover Defender and it's super lush. So it's got all the glossy wheel arches. It's got the lush alloys. He's got the side steps on it. It comes with the X Dynamic badging and it's actually got a different rear bumper as well. So it's super, super sexy. It's got the, it's got the gloss black. Or was that a bit bouncy with the sun? It's got the gloss black checker plate where mine's just the matte black. But we love Stig, he's got the tricky headlights. We got those now. Um, gloss black, these panels are all gloss black. He's got the keyless entry where you just press the button to get in, all oh, super, super lush. They've got a different bumper on the Dynamic X in this sort of funny color. And it's a slightly different shape around the tow bar. But there's one thing that tickled us. Look, he's banged his head. Look, he must have gone into a low garage and it looks like he's, he's bumped the bump the clear sight rear view mirror and they, with the chip shortage, even the ones leaving the factory now, you can't specify, even cars that were specified with clear view rear mirror. So this is where your rear view mirror in the car is actually a screen and it sees, so it looks like he's have to put a bandage on the poor old boy. Look at that. Never mind. You'll be better soon. Land Rover Discovery 4 Landmark. So this is one of the last Land Rover Discovery 4s. And it will probably be a future classic, this one, because this is like the final iteration of the old school chassis built disco. Now, the one that caught our eye with this is this car. I've never seen this color before. I don't even know what the name is. And maybe I'll look it up and put it in the video. I mean, it's all, here's like a coppery, goldy, bronzy color, isn't it? So he's got the lush alloys. He's got the he's got the later when they put the later evoke mirrors with the indicators, and they got rid of the indicator and put the dynamic badge on. He's got the full length roof rack on it. He's got the keyless entry, and there's a story there. We'll see when we get round to the other side. He's got all the thing. He's got the landmark badging on it. He's got the black lettering that came from factory. This car is absolutely mint, isn't it? Look at that. That is Clean super well. fresh. But the one problem with a Discovery 4 is because they are so desirable, um, those bad guys out there have worked out how to steal them. You've got the, he's had to put a crook lock. But look, he's got the gloss black, he's got everything, the gloss black switch packs on the steering wheel. So that was as good as a Disco 4 get tinted back windows. Do we like the colour? I don't know, it's I, one. I, I do. It's one of those Marmite ones, isn't it? Have you got a full shot of it, George? Put that there. The black, the black and that colour, whatever it is, it sort of works. We were just casually walking along and a little bit of, a little bit of a badge caught my eye on this old, rather, what do I, we wouldn't say, rather weathered looking classic range in our supercharge. What's all that about? So I thought he's got some writing. We'll have a, we'll have a word here. And turns out he has put the, um, the Range Rover Sport 4.2 litre supercharged V8 petrol engine in it. And he's made it to a gearbox, but that is a street sleeper, isn't it, George? Yeah. So that has got to be brutal, but he's kept it all looking sort of like, just sort of basic. Even inside, I don't know, he's got his gadgets and he's got a CB radio. George doesn't even know what one of them is. No. <laughs> um, and he's got the he's got blind spot mirror. Look, he's got all the marina door handles, but he's kept it all super slick looking. Has he even got, he hasn't even got a big exhaust on it anywhere, has he? In fact, where is his exhaust? I don't even know. No, that's, that's, no. But no, no, that's, where does his exhaust even finish? He's got some poly bushes on the suspension. I think this is a guy who doesn't really care what people think about him. He's not out to impress. He just wants to drive. We like that. Yeah. It's alright. Oh, I'll let you. Tire pressure monitor. 
honest with you, that's all. Have you got TPMS, sort of like some... Tire pal. Some old oh, school. I'm not complaining, there's no pressure. All right. Now hopefully the car should... Top 30. Oh, here it goes, here it goes. I've told it, I've dialed in 30. See the... He's helping Grandad out, isn't he? The stick's helping. Yeah, so this is the 4.2 litre supercharged. He's got a little bit of flat tire in him. Here we go, helping out where we can. Biscuit's nearly all gone. There we go, all helped out. Right, we're all camped up, we got it all set up. So, yeah. Right, first thing, schoolboy error, don't put up the awning first because then you can't reach the roof tent pegs and clips. So we messed that up. We got the camping stove going. What we got on the go, George? We got some sausages and we got some beans. Saucies and beans. Yeah, yeah. That's all working well. We got our little Coleman stove. We've got our gas canister there, all fits in. That's all happening. We've got the, the guy ropes in. The awning, we'll have to do a review of the awning. So this is the ARB awning we've just put up. That's pretty good. That gives us a good area for sitting. We've got all that. Roof tent all set for a nice night. So a Saturday night and then we'll be back on the show tomorrow. We've got a collection of old caravans and defenders and roof tents and stuff. Oh, we've got an engine situation going on over there. Someone's just having a check. Right, Sunday morning, I've got to do the washing up. There we go, thought I'd give you a little spin along the, the various cars and camping setups. Got the Rash Caravan, there we go, good old Disco Free. He's got the roof tent, he's gone, he's gone sideways. Sideways or over the rear. Great. Old military, kind of caravan. Military style tent, that military. P38s with the caravan. There's a whole range of people from caravans to little towns. That's a time warp combination. Look at this mint little caravan here. You got the little, little caravan and the old series land over on the safari roof. Right, it's Sunday, we're all set up. We got the awning up. We got the four bar four going. We've opened that up. Look, we got, we got the fairy lights going, look. Looks better at night than in the day, look. Anyway, enough of that. Right, we just parked up next to this 90, Model X. Um, super lush. Now, one thing we've noticed, let's see if you can understand and explain this. This is the Model X, look, and it's got this, these super lush candy red brake calipers. That, with Land Rover written on them, front and choo -choo, and rear, the calipers are all painted up, super lush. Right, come with me, come with me this way. Choo -choo -choo. Just up here we have got the best, the top of the tree, look at this, the V8. Look at that blue caliper, taunting us and going, look how flash I am. With the matte black, this is super lush. We love this one, don't we, George? This guy's super flash. Um, look at that lovely blue brake caliper is absolutely lush but explain this to me why did Land Rover not put blue calipers on the rear because this is more expensive car than that one look it's got the V8 bash giveaway there you go a mystery oh look look he's he's upgraded his exhaust he's fitted the Miltech exhaust it's got the active exhaust, which it has from factory on the V8. So under certain conditions, it opens and closes the valves. We did the V8 install, but he fitted the Miltech exhaust without the center box. And he said it was just too loud. So he's taken it out. He's uh, added the middle boxes now, the center boxes. But the Miltech exhaust still contains the active flaps. So that's way cool. We love that one. Facelift Disco 4. Now this is neat, I haven't seen this, but this is the laser light. And they seem to make a kit that you must have to cut the two centre bars out of your grill and it fits in and you've got these DRL warning lights that fit in. That's pretty lush. We like that. They've done a neat job on that. A lot of Land Rovers here are quite restored. This one we like because it's just, 
it tells a story. Like every little bend and scratch and it's what, you know, it's still got the rusty old ball bar on it, spare wheel mount. Look at that. Oh, dent on every corner. Oh, that camo seat covers, look at that. Ooh, crisps. He's loving his crisps. Right, now I think this grill on the top of the Defender is the air intake. And we might see all sorts of different ones. There's some stylish ones. We're going to have a look at those in just a second. But this one, I think, I used to wonder why you'd want to suck air in from here. But I think it's an anti-snow one. I think if the snow falls, it blocks your air intake. So this one allows you to intake air when there's snow. Because normally they're more like this. Choo, choo, choo. I caught this one. So... Normally it's a fat, a flat grill, but these are designed, that's quite clever, it's like the SVX design, and I think it was designed to sort of give you a ram air, so as you're driving along it would, to try and improve your air conditioning inside the car. Sometimes it's, you just forget how small the Series 1, it almost looks like a toy car, I don't like how tiny it is there compared to this one. Series, but it's just like, so tiny. So they've got a collection of G4 vehicles here, now we've got that fake G4 in the workshop. It makes me want to get it out. Look at this. But it's we've got the roof rack, we've got the rear ladder, we've got the light guards, we've got the plastic arches. We've got the I think our lettering's on the side, I'm not sure. But this one I'll check with the guys and see if this is a real one. But we've got the we've got the plaque at the back. We've got We've got the winch. We've got the front A bar, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, we need to get that out. Maybe that's a job for Lily now when she starts. We'll have to, we've got to put, why is the G, why haven't we done it with the G4? We've got to get the handbrake. We're halfway through replacing the handbrake module at the back and rust proof in the chassis. And we wanted to get the two posts to lift and work underneath so we could show you guys how to do the handbrake module. But we haven't finished the new workshop yet because we've been distracted by a million other things. So we need to get the, the new two posts of the lift done and then get the G4 replica going. Do that this summer. We've got the Godwana Stone Defender 110. We'll do some old school stuff as well, don't worry. But we've caught that. We've got the red calipers. We've got, we've got the tan interior with the wood trim. We were just coming around the back here. Oh, look, he's a customer. Look at him. Look at that. Godwana Stone Defender. That's cool. He's had some trick number plate made up with a godwana stone he's got the color coded he's had his spare is, wheel color coded is that number plate lr21 lord or land rover defender oh i preferred I, lord you I preferred like, lord yeah. i see where you're going with lord george but no i think it's, so he's, there you go he's got the twin exhaust cool he's got the cool plate cool car he's got the smoke lights yeah because it's the it's the model x in it so it's got all the extras bells and whistles roof rails clear view camera with no damage all cool let's keep looking this is, because we did this, didn't we, George? We, we took um, the stick to meet a Disco One. But you see them parked next to each other. They're both that sort of green. They've both got the spare wheel. They've both got the barn door. They've both got the old, the old safari windows at the top. Yeah. So there's a lot going on between these two, a lot in common. Even at the front, there's still a lot of similarities. You've got the pocket headlights. You've got the... What else have we got going on? We've got the grill, we've just got a couple of slats across. I don't know, it's, they've kept the DNA of the Land Rover. I like it. Here we go, a Khan, hello Mr. Adzal, we like Adzal. Um, so this is a Khan Defender, I guess it's a bit Marmite. Some people might find it a bit, I quite like it. For the record, I love I'd, it. I'd have changed those bolts to button heads. I think they were just a bit agricultural there. I a wide body kit on it. I like this the grey, the I like the grey. This is nice, I really like the grey. You've got these big wings with these sort of air vents and ducts. Kit. There you go. Got the new style. Got this big scoop at the back here. Choo, choo, choo. Good for covering all your damage on your side panels. The rear's pretty stock, isn't it, George? I think so. Chelsea hand-built by Khan. But the interior is where it's at. Is it? Let's have a Beautiful. look. Has he got He's All re-upholstered. All re-upholstered. His flash, it's still, I still think it's going to be driving like a Defender, but there we go, like that. We've just come across this Spectre replica and it's really nice. Now, okay, it's not black, but it's green, but I quite like it. So anyways, just talking to the guy, say, you're all right, if I just look around, you guys, they fill your boots, mate. Anyway, turns out he's won it in a competition. Never, little known fact, I won a car once in a competition. 
Ford Fiesta when I was at university, but that's another story. Right, so it's got the wide arches, so it's mint, look at that, it's got the Puma engine in it, everything's there. It's all so it's pretty much standard, other than it's got the wide arches, it's got the spaces with the wheels. Apparently, these tyres should go up to 80 psi. What sort of tyres are these, even George? There you go. Um, so it's got that, it's got the sidebars, it's got the graphics. The interior is still standard, it hasn't got the but it's got the later, it's got a sat nav screen. So the guy lives in London and he's just parking it on the street, and he's like, I can't really be doing with it. So look, we've got the rope, apparently, you can put the rope down the front. It's got the roof rack, it's got all the back. In fact, let's have a let's have a look and so there we go inside is the Puma. So it's the 2009. We'll have a look at the mileage on it. It's got the oh even the doors shut nice. So he's saying he drove it up here 70 mile an hour from London. I don't know if the uh, the bed comes with it. Hello. It's got all the exposed rivets. It's got a trick steering wheel. What mileage has it got on it? You can't see it unless we turn 000. it. 78,000. But yeah, and let's have a look underneath as well. Let's have a look. Dive oh, under. Dive under. Oh, oh, George isn't going to get dirty, apparently. Let's have a look. Sorry, it's all, like, it's all been wax oiled. It's all nice underneath. And um, so that actually is for sale. Well, I don't know when... I don't know whether Mrs. Powerful will let us buy it. We're tempted, aren't we, George? I think you should. It's better than money in the bank. George is telling me. George is like, oh, come on, Simon. That would be good advertising. Charity, yeah. So there we go. Nice. Right, look what's just turned up. We've got the new Range Rover. We've not actually seen one of these in the flesh, have we, George? So this is obviously, it's a lot cleaner. It's a lot smoother. Um, so it still looks l 405 y at the front, especially with the facelift and the square bit here, but it's got the new grille, but they've got rid of all the sensors out of all the bodywork. The sensors are all hidden, are all hidden along the front here now. It's all super slick. Let's have a look round. But one thing they've tried to do is reduce all the body gap lines. So the body gap lines are all really small and they've got rid of the window rubber along the top here. You see, there's no, window rubber it's just clean goes into the windows and these gaps here look you haven't got that external pillar it's just glass on glass and it's all super smooth you've got the pop out door handles and what size wheels they got they've got monster wheels on now and i think they've got 23s as standard i'm trying to look look for the wheel size on it oh, 22 this is on 22s but they do have the one with 23s and they've got this little ingot now i think in the us this is probably going to be used for a side light that they need to have but they've got this super slick light here mm, it's a prototype vehicle apparently a two antenna thing whoosh check that out um, and it's got the split tailgate i guess it's locked there you go oh, that's clean it's slick it's definitely a range rover i mean they're quite expensive aren't they they've really taken them up the luxury they're going for the, the luxury ones. inside Ooh. well i say it's the first time i've seen it. i did actually i did actually get a sneaky invite didn't i to the pre-launch event but that's another story um yeah the leather when i was looking at them the leather inside them was was insane but there we go there's a new range rover come to join the club he's, he's on the no parking area mm -hmm. ah, right Range Rover Sport G4. Now there's not many of these. Now I don't know. It's got what appears to be the HST grill to me. I'm not sure if that was original. I'm not sure if it's an original G4. But there you go. Ooh. Got the snorkel. Got the roof rag. Got the tie down hoops. It's got this extra waist rail. Rear light guards. Rear ladder. I mean. It doesn't suit itself as well to the G4 as the Disco 3 or 4, I would say, but it's still pretty cool looking, isn't it, George? Yeah. Do we like that? Yeah, the ladder's cool. The ladder's cool. I'm a bit worried you'd... That's a, that's a big step to get up there, isn't it? I don't know. Right, let's keep looking. Right, we're up in the museum and we found, Craig told me, he said, Simon, come and have a look. They've got the SV Coupe. So this is, they, they were gonna produce this car, they were gonna make a thousand of them. 
and they were £250,000 each or something, but they sold, they had orders for the whole thousand of them, but when COVID hit, they never made it. So this is, I think there's six or eight of these in existence, and this the guy was telling us was like the best example one they've got. So it was, so it's based on an L405, one of those cars there, Okay, but it's a two-door version. So it's got totally different wings. It's got, we'll have a look at the front in a minute. It's got this totally different side vent here. It's got two doors. We haven't got the keys to get inside, but you can see the seats are very futuristic. So this was really probably a car to be made to be driven in, but, and it's a prototype one. So you can see it's got the emergency stop start button in the middle, but the L405 dash, but then the rear, you have to look from the front, the seats are, can you see through the back there, George? Got that on the camera? No. Oh, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it was a super deluxe, and they were all five litre supercharged. So we'll have a look under the engine in a minute. But you can see it's just got two doors. And at the back here, it goes super sleek. It comes down. It's got the standard rear lights, but it's got a different, the tailgate looks the same, but the rake angle is different. It goes across different, and it's got a, tricky rear bumper it's got a little extra trim across here it's got quite a big gap here i don't think it's got that on the normal car i might do we'll have a look right so there we go let's have a look under the bonnet so you can see the front is different now it's quite interesting because the new range rover the 2022 range rover is all very sleek and modern this is actually quite busy there's grills and trims and everything everywhere um, so there you go, you've got the five litre supercharged, the same as we've got in the in our Range Rover Sport. So, but it's, there you go, find another one of those if you can. So, interesting, let's just have a look at the back. Is that, has this one got the gap underneath here? Yeah, it's, I've never noticed that. It's got a big gap here, where the bumper meets the lower tailgate. Right, I don't, it's a shame they've got the TR7, nothing against the TR7, but they've got the TR7 jammed between the two. It'd be nice to see them together. Right, no visit to the British Motor Museum without, be complete without paying respect to the original, the OG Q166, which on the Heritage Edition of the new, Land, the last Land Rover Defender they made, they did the Heritage Edition and it had Q166 sewn into the seat. I'll find a picture into the seats and it was key, so this is it. This is the OG Series 1. Check that out. It's so tiny. Two seats. It's a shame they don't make the new 90 with just two seats and an open back. Um, not a commercial, but just two seats. Anyway, that's another topic. Right, there he is. The original series one crazy much respect right one game we could play it's not very respectful we could play which land rover's got the biggest puddle underneath it no this one oh hold on mm, gear oil look let's have a look under the next one mm, don't know that one's not too bad is it let's have a look under the next one. Oh, he's got a little puddle under there Maybe we could try and do it in reverse and work out who was parked here. Mm. Right, every show must come to an end. We're here towards the end now. There is a stick all packed up. We have had a good weekend camping. Although George complained last night about my snoring, but that's another. You don't want to hear about that. Right, thanks to Land Rover and the British Motor Museum for hosting this event, letting everyone come. The camping facilities are great here. The toilets are great, showers are great really good really casual atmosphere thanks for everyone who's come to say hello to us all george we really appreciate that don't we special shout out to sam sam you know